to the crowd is going wild there for Linda Gale Lewis. Thank you. Thank you so much. It is so great. There she so is on 800 CJBQ, the sister of Jerry Lee Lewis. And we are so happy to have Linda Gale Lewis on the telephone with us this afternoon. Linda Gale Lewis, how are you? I'm doing fine. Some fine piano playing on there. And uh, we're so happy to talk to you on this wonderful occasion. Your brother having his uh, 80th birthday today. And uh, you just told me off the air he had his checkup today. He had his checkup today, and he's in better health than than all of us are. He's doing so well. <laughs> he's going to outlast. So he's, he's going to outlast all of us. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, I'm. I'm wondering who they will get to push the cake out there. You know, at, on the ninetieth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! They had Ringo Starr and. Uh, Robert Plant this time. I wonder who they'll have next time. <laughs> well, I'll, let's talk a little bit about that. You uh, opened up for Jerry Lee uh, at his big show, his big uh, finale. I guess his uh, they say is his last show in London at the Palladium just a few weeks back. You opened that show for him. What was that like being in London there? I heard the reception was just fantastic. It was absolutely wonderful. You know, our UK audience is, is so good to us, and they've been really good to me all through the years, and, of course, they love my brother. And it was sold out. It was 3,000 people. And it was the largest grossing show ever at the Palladium. And also, they put him in the Hall of Fame at the Palladium alongside uh, Judy Garland and others. Oh, my goodness. What an honor that is. Terrific. And he had Ringo Starr and Robert Plant to push his cake out. I know. The, <laughs> the, all the stars came out to celebrate Jerry Lee's 80th in London. Yeah, I saw Ringo was there. Robert Plant was there. I mean, all the big rock and rollers. And they, I mean, he's so well-loved in, in, in uh, London, isn't he? Well, he is. You know, back in the 50s when my brother and, and Elvis and Chuck Berry and Little Richard and those guys started this, playing this music, it, it changed everything. And and we owe them a lot because of the music that they have given us. Absolutely. And uh, now, I, I know after that, you, you just got back from Europe yourself. You're playing all over Europe. You were in Norway not long ago, weren't you? Well, I was. I, I did the Palladium in Glasgow with Jerry, and then I went to Norway and did some shows. I actually started out in Sweden and went from Sweden to Switzerland and Switzerland to London and London to Norway and Norway back home. And oh I'm in Austin, Texas now. <laughs> You're a colonist from Texas today. Well, I'm so glad you'll be with us. And, uh, you know, we were talking about this. Lucio is here, my buddy Lucio, and you know Lucio, too. And, uh, I we, do. Uh, of course I do. So glad to have him here. And uh, he, we were talking about the fact that rock and roll and the European audiences is, such, is so different from North America, it seems, in its popularity. Do, do you agree with that? Or what do you think about those European audiences? It just seems like they just love rock and roll so much over there. Well, they have really kept it going over there. But, you know, the, the music industry here is what keeps it away from the people. The people here absolutely love it. it it's like when I played Jerry's Club on his, uh, at his birthday party. Mm -hmm. It was a little bit before his birthday. It was Saturday night. Yeah. And the audience there, it, I know there was probably, it was probably 10 or 20 percent European, but the rest of them were American. And they do love rock and roll music when they can hear it and when they can get it. But the music industry here hasn't been so good about promoting this wonderful music. And, and you know, it's a treasure. It's a national treasure. Uh, that's it started how, yeah. here in Memphis. <laughs> Absolutely. It's, it's, and, you know, I, I think radio is part of the problem, too. I mean, we, have, we are celebrating uh, this music today, and we do every day uh, here in Canada on this particular program, and we're devoting the entire show to, the, to the Jerry Lee today. But there's very, very few radio stations now are playing this music anymore, too. Oh, I know. Thank God for you, Freddie, and thank God for, you know, my friend James Riley. It's guys like you that are putting it out there for people to hear it, and, and we need that. We need a lot of that. Well, I thank you. And, you know, well, let's go back now. On Jerry Lee's 80th birthday, and I'm, I want, first of all, I want to say you're his much younger sister. That's a fact, right? Oh, I mean, not that much. 12 <laughs> years. <laughs> no, so take me back. I mean, when did you know your brother was something special? I mean, you must have been a little girl when you probably, uh, you know, heard that piano going and he was uh, doing his thing. What, when, how, you know, when did you first realize something was special was going on in the house there? Well, it, it was part of my life, and, and I love, you know, I love my brother so much, and he was always so good to me. He would put me up in his lap, and, and I'd play the Tennessee Waltz on the black notes. He took up a lot of time with me. And then as, as I got older, uh, he would teach me and show me things, and I went on the road with him when I was just 14. Mm -hmm. and, and I knew that there was something going on when when he, his first record came out. That was exciting. That was Crazy Arms. We were excited about that. Yeah. But... 
when we went to my aunt Stella's house to watch him on the Steve Allen show, mm-hmm. that was really that was really something. Yeah, and I think even though I was only ten years old, I, I had the feeling things are changing. And then of course, when Jerry got his first check from Sam Phillips, the first thing he did was call up my mother and say, "Mama, I want you and Daddy and Linda Gale and Frankie Jean to have everything that I have." And he bought us a brand new house in town. One with the toilet on the inside, <laughs> which was much better. Wow. And he bought us a brand new Fleetwood Cadillac car. He gave my mama a thousand dollars to take me and Frankie Jean shopping. Wow. And our lives from then on was very different. And have been have been ever since, pretty much, hasn't it? Well, you know, my brother has taken care of everybody and of course I work a lot now and but he still helps me. His name has helped me so much. You know, when I started my solo career, sure. I was 40 years old, and I couldn't have done that if I hadn't been Jerry's sister. His fans have come out and supported me and helped me start my career, and I am so grateful to them, well, and I love every one of them. I mean, you have a talent under yourself, though. I mean, you are such a great piano player, and you have, I mean, I think you and your brother are both so underrated as country singers. You have the most beautiful voice, uh, and your country material is so good. Uh, I just I just love your voice. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much. And and you know, my brother's voice for the his phrasing for the country music mm-hmm. is so uh, unbelievable. He is so fantastic when he is singing a country song. It just goes right straight through to your heart. Exactly. And you know, and it's because of that piano. He's so darn good on that piano. Sometimes people forget, I think, how great of a country singer and, and vocalist in general that he really is with that wonderful well, and music. He, and he played some stuff on that Country Hall of Fame, Volume 1 and Volume 2, mm-hmm. that is the most amazing piano solos you will ever hear in your life. It's like classical piano played in a country way. I mean, it's like little trills and things like you hear in a Mozart sonata. It's, it is really and truly amazing. And every one of those songs that he recorded, he recorded them and made them better, in my humble opinion. Yeah, well, he makes it his and own. And I can yeah. say that as a Jerry Lewis fan. I just have to say that. <laughs> well, let's talk a little bit about the piano. I mean, is there something in the water in Faraday? I mean, how in the world? Like, you have Jerry Lee, <laughs> J- Mickey Gilly, Jimmy Swagger, and yourself. I mean, all, uh, in my opinion, monster boogie-woogie piano players. How? What well, is it? You. What is it with that family? <laughs> did you just think everybody <laughs> on the street could play piano like you guys? Or, like, how did that happen, really? Well, you know, all, all, a lot of my cousins, you know, it was Carl Glasscock was also a popular guy. I think he changed his name, though, to something else. Carl, uh, I can't remember now what his stage name was, but he was quite, he is, yeah, he was quite talented because he has passed away now. But uh, we've got cousins like David Beatty, who is a preacher, and Gerald Lewis. I mean, mm-hmm. all of us have, have talent in this family. Mm-hmm. And, of course, my brother is the only one of us who is a true genius. Mm-hmm. But the rest of us are good, and we can play, and I'm <laughs> proud of that. That I can hang in there with the best of them, you but cert- I couldn't hang in there with Jerry Lee Lewis <laughs> because like. he is the best. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Well, and, and it's not uh, just uh, your generation, but now your daughter's in the business as well. Anne Marie is that uh, she's with you uh, quite a bit, playing and singing. Oh, absolutely! Oh, she's so talented, and you know her new album will be, will be out very soon. She has a new album coming out with her husband, Danny B. Harvey. Mm-hmm. And, and great guy. Oh, my gosh. She has another, oh, yeah, and then she has another album coming out uh, on Cleopatra. So, yeah, she's doing really well. She was with me at the Palladium. Mm-hmm. Wow, terrific. What a thrill to have the family there, really, for that occasion. Well, we have a good time together. You know, my brother has a really wonderful wife now, and she loves all of us. Mm-hmm. And, and it's so nice that we can all get together. And, you know, she takes such good care of my brother. And she's so friendly and so nice to everybody. And she makes us all feel welcome. When That's... I go there now and visit with my brother, it's just wonderful. And then, of course, when I have my daughter with me and Jerry had his son leave with him, mm-hmm. like he did in London, it's just, just like a family get-together. No kidding. It's it... fantastic to be able to have a job where you can go and play music, which you love, and to your family. Yeah, what a what a great occasion. Now you're hard working. Uh, actually, you're hard rocking. The latest album's called <laughs> Hard Rocking Woman. I'm going to play a cut from this record. Uh, tell us, uh, tell everybody where they can find you on the internet and uh, follow you uh, and wherever you may be. Well, I'm on Landmark Records, and and then also I'm on Facebook. It's Linda Gale Lewis on Facebook, and uh, people are welcome to come see me on Facebook. And and yeah, I'll have LindaGaleLewis.com 
up and running pretty soon. But, you know, I think most people just go to Facebook anyway. I know I do. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I've wasted I'm on more. There all the time. I, me too. I'm wasting uh, hours and hours on Facebook all the time. <laughs> Well, uh, thank you so much for joining us today. I don't know if you spoke to your brother today or not, but if you haven't, I hope you can wish him a happy 80th birthday from everybody here in Canada. We love him so much. Well, I'm going to talk to him in just a little while and tell him how happy I am about his test results, and I'm going to give him your message, and also I'll say something about Lucio as well. Well, isn't that nice? Well, thanks, uh, thanks, Linda. You're one in a million. It's a pleasure. It's so great. Well, we're going to end off things. We're going to play Hard Rockin'. Uh, we're going to play uh, Hard Rockin' Woman. This is from your album here. What a great uh, record oh, this is. I love that one. Thank you so much. My son-in-law wrote that. <laughs> Very good. Uh, thank you so much for talking with us today. I appreciate it. Thank you, Freddie. Linda Gale Lewis on 800 CJBQ. Watch out.